Hello and welcome to the Underground. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to re-image a EOS console that is running Windows 7. Don't forget to read and refer to the printed instructions for your console, as these can often give you detailed instructions on the console you have. In this video, we will be using the re-image kits that are sent out by ETC Technical Services. In this package you will find a USB drive that we will boot the console off, as well as instructions for all Windows 7 consoles. Note this USB drive will only work with Windows 7 consoles. Before we go any further we should make sure that we have backed up all settings and show files on our console, as this process will erase all content on the console's hard drive. To start with you'll want to disconnect the external displays on your console if your console has internal displays. You also want to make sure any Ethernet connections are disconnected. Make sure that your keyboard and USB image key are connected to the back USB ports on the console. Now yet start the console by pressing the power button. Now we need to make sure we're pressing the one time boot key for your console to make sure that the console boots into the boot menu. Once the console is at the boot menu, arrow down to the USB drive and press enter. Now the console is booting from the USB drive. Once the console gets to the purple screen, we press any key to continue. Then we need to push C to image a console and then G for the Geo or whatever console you're imaging. Then we have a simple question to determine which revision of hardware the console is. Finally, we want to push A to re-image the entire console. Now you can see the console is being re-imaged and the hard drive is being erased. Once you get to the green screen, you'll want to push any key to reboot the console. Once the console has restarted, it will start the setup process. This can take anywhere from 20 minutes to 40 minutes, depending on the age of your console. It is not uncommon for the console to reboot several times during this process. Once the console is back in the EOS software, we are ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check out our latest support articles at support.etcconnect.com.